All right. So you can actually spawn more. Yeah. And now we're gonna pick up the orbs. You can see they're moving fast. Look at this, and so many others. You see? Look at the right side. See how many we have? You can count this crazy amount. Look at this. Hello, everybody. In this video, we'll show you a nice synergy with creatures. Right? It's not a complete build, but the core idea, if you see the core idea, you can play with this uh, yourself. Uh, first of all, let's go to the uh, deck, and you can see that I'm using uh, spells. Right? It costs, uh, many of them cost uh, 3 mana or above, but definitely a few of them 4 mana and above. Uh, this one, by the way, we're going to get rid of, uh, we can use, let's put this one. Um... I have Goblin Offensive, which is Summon X, so when I continue pressing the ability, it will continue spawning those uh, Goblins. But they will stay, they are not temporary. Right? This is very important to know. Uh, the other thing is, I have also Goblin Warchief, right? which uh, other creatures you control get plus one plus zero, and also Greater Swiftness, which they move faster, increase their speed. Right? Uh, now we're gonna go to the loadout and you can see here I'm using the head warp of pilgrim. This is common, however, if you see pick up elf globe chance 100% because I upgraded it, creatures you control under three power get plus two plus one for ten seconds. Alright? Uh, which is great. Alright, this also has by the way kill uh, at least one four with your primary uh, 40% plus for the sorcery healing. But again, the other ones are not important. The most important thing is the creatures you control under three power gain plus two plus one for 10 seconds, which is great. But this is when we pick up a globe. The other thing that I use is when I pick up a globe, create two two black zombie tokens for 15 seconds. All right. So we have these two. And uh, we're going to go to the artifacts. And here, actually, no, this one, not that I wanted. Let me just check quickly. Yeah, we can put this one uh, here. So when, I, again, this I'm just showing some synergies uh, with the health globe. When we pick up a health globe, there's a 25% chance. This is not fully upgraded, by the way. We can increase the chance. Create a 1-1 green spawning token for 14.5 seconds. All right. Uh, and then also, if you upgrade this one, you can increase the chance. Basically, we want lots of creatures and buff uh, most of them. Other ones I have here, right? Just so you know. We also have dragons, right? So we can even spawn dragons, all right? Lots of creatures. Uh, again, the key idea here is Blooming Totem because Blooming Totem uh, allows me when I cast a spell, especially when I fully upgraded, when I cast a far mana sorcery, I can create an orb. Which means that when I pick up this orb, all these uh, ones that I actually showed you will act be activated. All right. So uh, I'm going to show you again how it works and uh, in practice. And this is really cool. So we can really have kind of a buffed creatures. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to many well, yeah, lots of enemies. She against the horde. I think we're going to go to against the horde. We're going to go to uh, master. I'm going to put it here on private. All right. Region I don't have. Just turn it off. On. I can't turn. Never mind. <laughs> what does it matter? All right. Now this is really fun because the idea that the creatures are actually low, below three, so they're going to get the buff. All right. So I mean, just having them uh, low. Uh, low enemies it doesn't matter a lot unless you buff them make something with them and you can even combine this uh with uh other type of spell for just for an example uh you can add uh if you go to black here you can go and use where is it why well, can't say it now mutation i don't know this mutation here you can use mutation there are different ways to buff things up but this is kind of uh, the red deck uh, use so only red so again not gonna work on finishing this but just show you how things work with this all right so let's start now you're gonna see that when i'm uh, 
Uh, actually, when you see already an orb there, you see, and another one, you see. Now I'm going to spawn uh, these. Uh, look at this. I'm going to spawn them, and I'm only going to pick up an orb. Look at this. What happens when I pick up an orb? Now they're going to bigger and more will spawn. All right. So you can actually spawn more. Yeah. And I'm going to pick up the orbs. You can see they're moving fast. Look at this. And so many others. You see? Look at the right side. See how many we have? You can count this. Crazy amount. Look at this. It's insane. Can you count? It's crazy. Right? It's crazy how many of them. And they're fast and they're buffed. Just crazy. So this is kind of the, the idea of the build. You create kind of an army with lots of, uh, of these... Um, Goblins and other creature and buff them up and create globes and you see when I pick them up you see they are now big Look what happened. This is just crazy. They can really get lots of them Again, some of these depend on energy some some are not You see I'm spawning more look at this it's just crazy, huh? I'm gonna put the war shift now Nice. Now they move very, very fast. Of course, some of them will disappear because they are time-based. Yeah, but that's the core idea of the build. Lots of enemies, and it's really cool. It'll be fun to play with. Uh, again, we're gonna spawn more. Gonna now tap. You can see. Oh, sorry. No, no mistakes. I'm gonna tap now. Gonna sp now we're gonna get a glob. I didn't get a glob. All right, we're gonna try again. Yeah, we have. And now we're gonna bigger. Look at this. Look how big they are. It's crazy. You see? The whole idea is buff them up. Nice. Yeah. So that's the core idea of uh, this build, and it's really fun. It's really fun. Uh, and the thing is, you can modify it more. Uh, but I like this kind of red. Uh, only red uh, for this one uh, and it works really really well yeah just turning around of course see there's even dragons we can put we're gonna put now more mana regen and you're gonna put the world shift now pick up orbs spawn more Pick up the orb. Pick up the orb. Can pick up the orb. Now. <laughs> Look how big they are. Funny. Pick up the orb. Look at this. You get tons of them. Pick up the orb. It's important to pick up the orb. Look at them. They're so fast. Look at the army that we have here. Oh my god. This is just crazy. Yeah, just don't forget to pick up the orbs after casting sorceries and you have big army buffed up with both speed and damage. And you can have lots of fun with this. This is really fun build. Now keep in mind that when the orb spawn, it doesn't spawn where you are exactly, so it can sp it's just spawn nearby. So kind of make sure that you, you spot it and pick it up. Yeah, so this is it for this build. Um, it's just I'm going to go back. Sorry, uh, we need to cancel this one. Abandon mission. Uh, and we go quickly all over the things. Uh, so you can see, again, you can make changes to it. But as you can see, the core works very, very well. Uh, and this is, of course, mainly for the equipment. And also for uh, from the um, equipment and the artifact. So again, what I use in my deck, all right? Again, make sure you put cards that are mana one, mana four and above, so you can have a chance to uh, get those orbs, all right? And not just cheap ones. Uh, again, I use Goblin uh, Warchief. Uh, this is again, you don't have to use this. You can this is replaceable, uh, but it is it's the one that allows you to spawn orbs. Uh, Goblin Offensive, of course, a must. An expensive uh, mana one. 
This can be replaced by the way, but I like it. I put it in single target, uh, high damage single target. I always use this. Uh, and Goblin Fire Bobber you can use, but replaceable. Again, you can mix and match it with other ones uh, if you like. For example, you can put. Um, you can put. Let me show you which one. Yeah, for example, if you want black, you can put this one. So you can add like summon three. So add even three zombies into the mix, right? If you want to get rid of something and focus more on creatures. Uh, and um, you can do this. But keep in mind, you need sorceries for spawning orbs. Keep in mind. So make sure you have some. So there's a way to mix with this one. But if you're going all red, uh, this is, works really nice for me. So I use it. Uh, again, we're going to go quickly on the loadout again. Uh... Aid warp of the pilgrim common, but look at this. Pick up a 100% chance creatures you control under three power get plus two plus one. This is insane, and it's common. Um, this one spawn two black black for 15 seconds, right? 94%. Uh, uh, but again, you can upgrade it even more. Uh, and this is the one, the other ones that I have, right? Not related to this, but. You can even add other ones that even, you know, have better synergy for dropping even more creatures, right? And the artifact, Dragon Flax. This is the most important one, Blooming Totem. I upgrade this one to rank 20 because of that. Crony of the Loom. All right, and this is the other ones they use. Not related, but... So this is it. Hope you enjoyed this one. As you can see, it's lots of fun because really, you're using, you're taking those little creatures, right? That are very cheap to spawn. And you just buff them up for uh, with your equipment, right? And you can just have fun. And you still have, get to enjoy lots of powerful sorceries of your red deck. Have creatures. I mean, you're not really sacrificing because you're really going to deal lots of damage with the sorceries. But when you cast your sorceries, you also get uh, create uh, those uh, orbs. They give you buffs, immediate buffs for your creatures, right? So this is really cool synergy. Allows you to enjoy both the damage... And lots of creatures as well that are very powerful as well. Yep, so this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have other ways you think you can improve it. And of course, this is not complete. Just a core. Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing to my channel. Give this one a little like. i see you soon on the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.